Maximum vehicle speeds were significantly higher during the COVID-19 lockdown when there were fewer vehicles on the road locally. Uh, this is the finding of a study done by Lacey Williams, a PhD candidate in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the UWI St. Augustine campus. He presented his findings during a UE virtual conference which focused on the effects of COVID-19 on transportation. Mr. Williams compared 2019 and 2020 speed data, which found that motorists were breaking the speed limit at all times of the day, as opposed to 2019 data, which showed that this was done typically from midnight to 4 a.m. For example, we did an exercise on the priority bus route where we saw speeds even higher than what we recorded here. And some of them, we found those speeds on you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, um, one o'clock in the afternoon. We found them on a Sunday at you know eight thirty. So at times that you would not typically associate with really you know speeds twice on three times the speed limit. William said while there was an expected decrease in traffic volume due to COVID nineteen, there was a general uptick in traffic in several areas across the East West Corridor, particularly from Curup to Dabadi. He noted that this might have been due to people making shorter trips for essential items. Those were more in demand at this particular time. So whereas the highway trunk routes would have been see, of seeing less traffic over time, what we'd have been seeing on the main road um, in particular was that in some areas, the volumes during the COVID-19 pandemic were actually a bit higher than what you would have expected or typically expected. Mr. Williams said the data was collected using radar counters and cameras, which were deployed 24-7 during the data collection period. 